Minority government is destabilising, destroys confidence, and it is bad for our state and it is bad for Tasmanians. We won't be doing any deals with the Greens or any other minor party. It's been the catch cry of Tasmania's major political parties election after election. But is minority government something they just need to accept? Looking at the polls, if you trust them, of course we're heading for a minority government. So what does it actually mean to be in minority? And is it really as bad as many politicians make out? Minority is pretty simple. It's, it's where the majority of voters don't want you. So you're, you're, you're caught short. Governing is a numbers game. A political party needs a majority of votes in parliament to maintain control. If a party doesn't win enough seats at an election, it's in minority. It needs to pick up votes from other parties or independents. This balance of power gives MPs with deciding votes more bargaining power. Hi everyone. Former Greens leader Christine Milne worked with minority governments at both a state and federal level. Congratulations, thank you. <laughs> it's the most democratic and it brings the decisions to the floor of the House and shines a light on what governments are doing. So it takes it out of the back rooms into the light of the Parliament. In 1998, Tasmania's lower House of Parliament dropped from 35 to 25 seats, partly in an attempt to prevent another minority government after two years of it under Liberal Premier Tony Rundle. It led to an infamous garden chair protest by the Greens' Peg Putt, now Tasmania's lower house is returning to 35 seats amid increasing voter interest in minor parties and independents. I think in Tasmania we will be seeing multi-party politics and certainly more independents than we've been used to. We could see a record number of independents in after this next election. One of Tasmania's longest running minority governments was in power from 2010 to 2014. At the 2010 election, the incumbent Labor Party and the Liberals each won 10 seats and the Greens five. After weeks without a government, a historic deal has finally been struck that will see Greens leader Nick McKim and his fellow MP Cassie O'Connor welcomed into David Bartlett's Labor cabinet. The coalition was modelled off a South Australian power-sharing arrangement and lasted almost its full term, mostly under Premier Lara Giddings. That enabled us to provide four years of stable government, which is what majority government provides you, is stable government. So for me, it's about getting the right model in place. Labor's current leader didn't have such fond memories of the coalition at the party's election campaign launch three years ago. Labor will govern alone or not at all. It was a mistake to think that Labor could ever work with the Greens and we will never make that mistake again. A position she's sticking to. I can categorically tell you the Labor Party will not be doing deals with the Greens to form government. We will not be doing deals with other parties to form government. Jeremy Rockliffe called this election in an attempt to overcome the instability of his own minority government. He faced pressure and influence from Liberal defectors turned independents John Tucker and Lara Alexander. For future negotiations, he's ruled out a deal with the Greens, but has left the door open to others with conditions. I will not agree to anything that constrains me or uh, my government. I will not be trading ministerial positions or policies. Political instability can hit business confidence. It may affect how much they're willing to invest in a state ruled by uncertainty. Now my job is to try and keep confidence high and to remind Tasmanians that um, this won't be the end of the world if it happens. Uh, it will certainly be very interesting. If Tasmanian voters deliver a hung parliament with no single party in majority, it could be well after election night before we know who will form the next government, or even if there'll be a workable parliament. Minor parties are hoping voters deliver a collaborative parliament. The Premier calls it doing deals. Uh, we call it negotiating to get great outcomes for Tasmanians, and that's what we are planning to be doing. We will work with, with whoever it takes to make sure that every bill is better and every piece of legislation is better. When it goes through the parliament, that's what we will do. Selena Ross, ABC News.